Now in this video we will learn how does Java, uh, Java program compiles and executes. Now first when we write a Java program uh, that uh, is known as the source code. So now we have source code and now we want to compile it so when a Java program is written uh, means that uh, we have source code then the compiler of Java which is known as Java C Java compiler converts this source code into byte code the byte code is the intermediate form of code it's not the complete or the uh, you say that uh, the, uh, in the full form machine understandable form now when the Java C compiler uh, converts the uh, the source code into byte code the byte code is machine independent code here is, uh, here, here, here is where we can say that the uh, Java is machine independent code. Now we wrote the source code, we compiled it using the Java compiler. Now it's in the form of byte code, which is uh, machine independent code, which means that um, we can take this code to any platform and there we will use the JVM, Java Virtual Machine. And the Java Virtual Machine is platform dependent. For Microsoft uh, uh, Windows, we have different Java um, JVM. For Mac, we have different, and for different platforms, we have different different JVM and this byte code will go through that JVM and the JVM will convert into machine understandable form for a particular platform based on the operating system the JVM will first check the operating system that which operating system the machine is running on and the, on the basis of that mm, the byte code will be translated or will be converted into that uh, particular machine understandable for Mac. So there are basically uh, five steps involved in uh, Java compilation process. Let me increase the font. 14 and we have it. So the first step is to write uh, write code. Write code. Step number two. number two is. Uh, compile code step number three is step number three is that class loader and step number four is byte code verifier step number five is JVM Java virtual machine okay, so in the first step of the write code here we write our Java program which is the source code which is our which is our programs a source code next we have the uh, source code okay and the first we have the source code when we write the source code it is stored uh, in our operating uh, in our uh, systems uh, hard drive uh, with the dot Java extension and then we have the compile in the compile code uh, our source code is compiled and then the class loader uh, loads uh, the class file here we stored the file with the dot java extension we compiled it and it generates using the class loader file the dot class file of this uh, our source code for example if you have um, uh, if you have a file with the name of program dot java after compiling the class loader will, will, gener will generate program dot class here we had program dot java and here we will have program dot class after that the the code is brought into the main memory and here the byte code verifier verifies the code whether the by the byte code is a is according to rules and regulations or not and then we have the java virtual machine now the byte code will go through the jvm which is the java virtual machine and the java virtual machine will convert the byte code into machine understandable format uh, with respect to the particular operating system so this is basically the five steps of uh, compiling and execution and then we can execute that file. Uh, the five steps of compiling and execution of a Java program. So hope you got the basic idea of how the Java uh, code is processed. Thank you so much. See you in the next tutorial.